this guy's garage. Like and subscribe. The Honorable Member for Brentford Brent. Mr. Speaker, last night in shameful display, the NDP Liberal Coalition tried to shut down the committee studying the Arrive Can scam. I move to go back in public. We are in public. I move a, I move a notice of motion. I do, and I have it in both languages. Do you care to distribute it? It's being sent, I believe, to the various. It's being sent now. I'd like to read it if I may. Go ahead, Mr. Su. That pursuant to Standing Order 108.3C, the committee undertake a study on the government's work towards regulatory modernization. That the committee examine matters including examining how to reduce the unnecessary administrative burden for individuals and small business, examining how to simplify regulatory processes, including certifications, codes of practice, without the need to make regulatory changes and the introduction of regulatory sandboxes, cutting unnecessary red tape to make cross-border trade easier through more consistent and coherent rules across governments, such as adopting national standards more widely, examining regulations that may impede international competitiveness. That the committee allocate four meetings to conduct this study, that witnesses be submitted to the clerk of the committee by February 21st, 2024, and that the committee report its findings and recommendations to the House, and that pursuant to Standing Order 109, the government point, point of order, a chair. comprehensive response. Is, is the member moving a motion or providing a notice of motion? Because he said he's moving. he's moving a notice of motion. I'm is, reading a notice that's being provided, but I am moving the motion. Uh, you're you're either you're either providing I am a notice moving a motion, or moving the motion, and I'm reading the notice of motion that's been provided. It's not a notice of motion if you're I'm moving, moving the motion, motion, man. Okay. <laughs> I think we understand the intent, but we just perhaps uh, advise in the future that we are more. There's a green book. <laughs> it's called the that Standing we Orders. Provide things of the House of Commons. following our pr proper procedure. It's available in both official languages. Uh, am I on the list, Chair? Yeah, Mr. Uh, we'll start a speaking list, Mr. Genwis. Uh, the motion is going out in both languages. Can we let the go? No, Mr. Fleur, you can hang around here for the next six months until we're ready for you to. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Hey, uh, yes, let me interrupt for two seconds. I have to check something with the clerk as well before we proceed, but yeah, Mr. Liffler, thanks again for being here in show notice. We will see you again. Mr. Jonas, uh, are you speaking on this motion? Yes, uh, th okay, th th ahead. thank you, Chair. Uh, this committee has important, uh, unfinished business with regard to the Arrive Scam scandal. And just briefly on, on the substance of the Arrive Scam scandal, I am flabbergasted by some of the comments that Liberals have made saying, this committee hasn't done anything. We haven't, we haven't seen anything. I, w I wonder what committee they've, they've been at, Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, over the last four months, we have heard incredible testimony, senior public servants accusing each other of lying in, in a parliamentary committee. Mr. Chair. Uh, and and this is, uh, Sorry, Mr. oh, he's, he's going to try to correct me on the rules. Uh, this I, I is relevant. Say, you know, you know him well, but I just wanted the relevance of this right. commentary yeah. regarding. You proposed a motion about we the do. committee's agenda. It's, of course, relevant. And we always allow a very wide breadth for discussion, but go ahead, Mr. Yeah. Genes. And this is a narrow breadth. You propose a motion about the committee's agenda, and I'm discussing the committee's agenda, Mr. Sousa. Um, th this committee has, for the last four months, heard absolutely breathtaking testimony. Various senior public servants and whistleblowers accusing each other of lying, uh, presenting devastating testimony about a $54 million contract for the development of an app that went to a company that had no internal capacity to develop apps or do IT work whatsoever. We gave $54 million to a company that subcontracted all of the actual work. And we've already seen a, just a devastating report from the procurement ombuds, uh, ombudsman. Uh, we have an auditor general's report coming out. So there's the, the RCMP are investigating. The procurement ombudsman uh, released a report. The auditor general's investigating. This committee's been investigating. And, and the liberal members say, oh, we're not, nothing's going on here. Nothing's going on. <laughs> what, 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 what's there to study, guys? Come on. Well, when, when, when the liberals think nothing's going on, when they when they say there's nothing to see here, Mr. Speaker, uh, that that tells conservatives that we need to dig even deeper. Uh, there's there's important business that.
that this committee had to deal with in the context of the Arrive Scam scandal, and I believe that was the intention of the committee business. Nonetheless, uh, the Liberals have, have made clear uh, that they that they want to hide the, the information, that they don't want to have this discussion, and they moved a motion on another subject uh, that the committee has uh, not even seen yet. So, uh, I'm sorry, when you table drop a motion that has not been distributed to members when there's 12 minutes left in the committee, uh, that, that is not a serious attempt to adjudicate the issue. We will review the motion that Mr. Souza has moved in good time. We will consider it. We will evaluate it. Uh, but this this is obviously fundamentally not what this is about. This is about Mr. Souza uh, um, building on his scandalous record of the Wynn government, trying to divert and bury uh, the, the Arrive Scam scandal investigation. Uh, and since the Liberals are clearly opposed to doing that work, since they have they have sought to dismiss the witness that we had important questions for today. Uh, I, I think there's just nothing left to be done. So on that note, Mr. Chair, I move that we adjourn. Okay. 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 Motion to adjourn. Alex will have a uh, vote. Hands not under investigation. Okay. But arrive. So motion to adjourn debate. Uh, adjourn, adjourn the meeting. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Baines. Yes. Mr. Uh, Mr. Johari. Support. Uh, Mr. Kazmierczyk. Oh. Or <laughs> Mr. Sousa? No. Uh, Miss yourself, Charles. Miss Ganey? Sorry, are we voting to adjourn? Adjourn uh, to adjourn the meeting. Yes. Three uh, under the bus, Charles. Mr. Oh, Ms. Block. Yes. Mr. Genuis. Yes. Ms. Cousy. In favor. Madame Vignella. Wait. Mr. Backrack. Opposed. Okay. Well, while uh, while the vote, <laughs> colleagues, please, please, while the vote is being tabulated, I want to get in very quickly. We had canceled Monday because of the AG, but we do have some pressing issues we have to do in camera, budget, and some other things that are preventing us to move forward on a couple of things. Uh, I'm going to maybe try to fill in 30 minutes on Monday around the AG, but I'll discuss this stuff really is important. I have to get to it. So I'll let you, I'll follow up and let everyone know. Yeah, but <clears throat> I think and the AG meeting is going to be over by 11, so we, we could have our We just passed the motion to adjourn. Adjourned. Oh, I just got the vote and we are adjourned. And Mr. Speaker, we look forward to the results of that investigation because any acts of wrongdoing will come with consequences. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs>